is our lineup brought to you by T-Mobile. And let's check out the Sprite Ice Cold keys to the game. Well, both of these teams are so impressive. It's hard to find a weakness with either one, Kevin. I mean, in a marquee matchup like this, both teams have a wealth of options offensively. So it's going to be important for guys to really take individual responsibility at the defensive end of the floor. You're right. You know, not too many guys you can leave open. No, for sure. And, and, and also, both teams very deep. So use your bench and maximize that depth. Take advantage of it. And finally, remember that this game isn't for playoff position. So just have fun and show them what you can do. Show them what you got in your book bag. We're going to have fun watching. Always. Yeah. Even though it was early in the shot clock, that's an opportunity you can't pass up, Kevin. Hall gets the reach-in call. That's his first foul. Chris Hall. That's his first personal foul, first team foul. Garnett lays out. The steal by the home team. The break is on. Rips it down with both hands. Good execution on the break leads to the nice buck. Garnett is tagged with the reach. That's his first foul. Kevin Garnett. That's his first personal foul, second team foul. Four-point game. It's stolen by the home team. Up ahead to Howard. Oh! Excellent defense, and the steal earns him a quick bucket in transition. To the baseline, to number seven. Connects on the baseline jumper. Just put the ball in his hands, Kevin, and watch him go to work. He's going to make something good happen. Wade can't connect on the quick shot. Great defense there. Challenged the path of the shooter, which caused the miss. How is whistled for reaching in. That's his first foul. The pass cut off by the home team. You have to play smart with the ball in your hand. It's tipped. Garnett from short range finishes with the soft touch. These guys are doing an excellent job on offense here at the start of this game. Good shots leading to four or five shooting. Here's Yao. Tipped. Good D by Howard. Open look. And that one's good. That's a great pass. Way to get it to the open man. James with it. Here's Howard. Hits the left of the rim and gets the friendly bounce. Another basket here, and they have really come out of the gates fast in the first quarter, Kevin. Coach Fielder calls a timeout. Both teams making some changes. And it's an eight-point game. Dumps it off. Really not enough defensive pressure there to force that miss. He's got to be disappointed. O'Neal oh, rushes it with the one-handed jam. They've been unstoppable. What a strong start. Here's Yang. Off the mark with the three ball. Tough break there, Kev. He found an opening on the floor and got a nice clear look. Just didn't convert. And it's scooped up by number three. Stolen by Ronda. Here comes Rajon Rondo. Tipped. Just over five minutes left in the first. The little man made the big rebound. What a play. Here's Bryant. Found him to prevent the easy basket. He'll have to earn it at the line. 
Can't sink the first. Clark, when they write the final chapter on Kobe Bryant, where will he rank in this game? Well, I think he'll be a Hall of Famer first ballot, no doubt. When you consider the guys that have come into the NBA right out of high school, he will be considered one of the forerunners to having successful careers as a guy who never played in college. Actually, he may go down when you consider him and LeBron James and some others. He very well Kevin could go Garnett. Kevin Garnett. Yep. He could very well go down maybe as the highest scoring of that group of players that have come into the NBA. Most spectacular player maybe of his generation right now. You know, there's been Dominique, there's been Michael, but now in this generation. Yeah, maybe, maybe I think he was, he, he'd be right there. As a matter of fact. Oh! Trailing by 13. Deflects the pass. The steal by the home team. On the paint. Graceful finish. Well, in this quarter, they haven't done a good job of defending the shots. To number three. Number five. Nails the easy jumper. Rondo with it. Under four minutes left in the first quarter. Rondo with it. From close range, finishes with the soft touch. And they're down big. Defense has been an issue. It has been. They need to close out on the shooters a little better. And that means you've got to be on balance. You've got to understand where the ball is. And then you've got to chop your steps as you close out the dangerous shooter. Both teams changing it up. James with it. And here comes Wayne. Bryant lays it right in. He has five. And right now, Kevin, they're getting everything they want and sending a message while they're doing it. The jump off to James. Inside. Lays it right in. We talked about sending a message to Clark. This certainly is one way to do that. Well, it really is, Kevin. I mean, it's demoralizing to a defense when you can't and don't consistently get stopped. There's high percentage shots, and then there are 100% shots. That's as close as it gets right there. Here's Garnett. Cans the tough double clutch lead. They've been dominant at both ends of the floor, so the early lead is no surprise. And here comes James. Here's Howard. Gets in close. Gets the land. He's got eight. I got to believe, Clark, that the Olympic experience when the U.S. recently won the gold in Beijing did wonders for Dwight Howard in a lot of different ways from confidence but just being around these great players for such a long time. I don't know if we can even quantify what that means to a guy like Dwight Howard early in his career to have that experience but to have the kind of focus and intensity and attention to detail that he saw from the superstars in the game rub off on him this early in his career continues to lay a foundation for greatness for that young man barring injury. Excellent anticipation there, Kev. He placed that pass perfectly. They're showing no signs of slowing down. Wade backs in. And the shot is good from Garnett. This is how they built an early lead. A relentless and punishing inside game. The story for them in this half is how poorly they've hung on to the basketball. I mean, just giveaway after giveaway. You can't be effective and productive when you're doing that. And here is Davis following the score by Kevin Garnett. And I agree, Clark, just poor ball control, sloppy basketball. That's definitely been the story. And part of the reason for the turnovers, lack of spacing. Guys are not moving themselves and moving the defense. And when that happens, turnovers can pile up. It's picked off by the home team. It's been a tough quarter right now. They can't seem to get into any kind of rhythm or flow. They just keep giving the ball away. They're just much too sloppy play so far. Wade gets called for the reach, and that's his first foul. Yeah, plays it in. Sweet time to lead into the rack. Six points for him. 
Clark, as you mentioned, another giveaway, another lost chance offensively. And on top of that, they're having to work more defensively. Well, turnovers cut at you both ways. You don't get a shot, then you have to go down and play defense at the other end. I expected both teams to play well this quarter, but so far, it's been kind of disjointed. Fits and starts. Roy hits the reach-in call. That's his first foul of the game. In the bonus, they'll go to the line. He knocks down the first one. He gets them both. Al Paul. 46 seconds left in the first. Roy threw this one out of bounds and turns it over. And here is Davis. Paul is whistled for reaching in. That's his second foul of the game. In the bonus, will go to the line to shoot two. And he makes the first one. He gets them both. Wade with it. They're harassing him for 94 feet with full court man-to-man -man defense. Here's Howard. Knocks down the trifecta. 13 points in the game. He can't be stopped. He's having a party out there. Five second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Cans it from in close. He's really been efficient in the quarter so far. I love the way he's looking for his offense. Garnett tacks him down. Here's Paul. It's in for three. They're up 47 to 22. Another steal. Paul. This is the buzzer beater. The home team are running away with it. Well, they've been the beneficiary of quite a few turnovers. They've made fewer mistakes, and that's why they're ahead. We're at the end of the first, and it looks like we might have a blowout on our hands. The score, 47-22. to 22.